Hi and welcome to the tutorial on the menu bar. So your menu bar is located on your top left hand side and inside your menu bar you'll find a lot of really useful tools for JMARS. If you go under file you'll see that there's two different sections for saving and loading sessions versus layers. I'll actually go over this in another tutorial so I'll skip it for now. A nice thing about JMARS is if you want to export whatever you're working on you can do that easily. You can go under your file tab and either go to capture to JPEG or PNG or if you want to save it in a different format you can just go to export image and then you can click on the file types and change it to whatever you'd like. Also under your file tab is your exit button. You can use this to exit JMARS also, just an alternative way of getting out of the program. If you move over to view, you'll see that there's a couple different things under here that can be useful. The first thing is called your doc layer manager. Like I said earlier, this area called main is your layer manager. And for some reason, if you don't want this on here, you can click it and get it away from your main view. This can be useful if you want to see more of the surface of Mars or if it's getting in your way. And then if you want to put it back where it was, you can go up to the view and dock layer manager and it puts it right back where it was. Also under view is a panner view button. If you don't want to use the panner view, then you can click it off like this. And then you can put it back on whenever you'd like. Your memory meter is also on here. This is located in your bottom right hand corner and it basically tells you how much memory you've been using with the program. So if you don't want that on there, you can also take that off. I like to keep it on there to see how much stress I'm putting on the program and what I'm using. You can use your navigation tab to move around the screen. The recenter projection is really helpful. If you come up to this lat long area, you can put in different coordinates for JMARS to jump to. So we'll just go up to the North Pole. And you'll see that the North Pole is pretty distorted because as you get further away from the center of the projection, the image will get more distorted. So that recenter projection button is really useful because it will recenter your image where you're looking at. So you can do it one of two ways. If you click on view, you can go to recenter projection and click this. Or if you'll see this little command next to it, you can also just press control R. So for this sake, I'll just press control R and then it reprojects the North Pole. So this is really useful if you are moving around a lot or looking at the poles. That way you can always recenter where you're at and get a new perspective on it. Under places, you'll see that there's this previous place. It's pretty nice because if you forget where you were, then you can go up to previous place and it'll bring you back to where you were. Or if you want to just search in recent, you can also do that. You'll see this area at the bottom called bookmark current place. If you're going to be going somewhere a lot, this bookmark can be really helpful. So for instance, I'll click it and it'll put your coordinates as the name, but you can change that if you'd like to. I'm just going to put test, press save. And now I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to go back to the default, which is zero, zero. And I'm going to reproject by pressing control R. And now I'm going to go up to places. And now you'll see under bookmark, there's this area called test and it gives my coordinates. So I'm going to click it because I want to go back there. And you'll notice it brings you back to where I was and it keeps that reprojection on it. So it's really helpful. If you go under tools, you'll see from the first tutorial that this area is really similar to your toolbox. It's basically a different way of using your toolbar, but you can use it either way you want to. And in case you forget the commands to do things, you can come in here and look to the right hand side for that. Under the help menu, you'll see that there's a couple different things in here that are pretty useful. Your first one is your JMARS homepage. If you forget what our homepage is or you need to go look something up, it's really nice. You can just go under help and our homepage will show you different things, including updates, tutorials. So it's pretty nice to have. Also under help, 
you'll see this area called Manage Cache. Cache is basically a temporary storage for your data. So when you're using a lot of data in JMARS, sometimes your cache can build up. And if you want to clear this, you can. It's going to tell you how much I'm using. All right, so notice it's at 381 megabytes. And I'm going to press Clean. And it should decrease. Press OK. Another way of doing this is coming down to your meter and just clicking it and it should remanage your cache also. Under the help menu, the last thing I'm going to talk about is reporting a problem. If for some reason something's not working, you can click this report a problem and you can fill out the form and this basically tells us how to recreate the problem and what's wrong so that we can fix it for you. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me.